but it's yeah, I have the big picture and it's really not that bad. So look forward to that. It's my goal. Kareem, to me what it sounds like is your plan just you, you just have building blocks that you're building in your plan to you know, you're you're actually planning out how you can do things and some things you don't really um, know how to do very well, but you can connect with the experts. Yes. And through the experts, you can actually start building a plan with them, and that's reasonable for you, and, and they'll, they're willing to work with you. So that's the power of social, uh, you know, social media and connecting with others, because once you connect with them, once you made that connection, there is power right there. Yeah. Because you've made that connection. And not That's only perfect. their power, but the interesting thing is I always find if I have a conundrum, I'm like, I just don't know how to do this. It's interestingly enough. But I say, oh, I'll figure it out. Somebody shows up and they're like, man, I'm an expert at this thing in WordPress. I'm an expert at video or I'm an expert at SEO. I'll show you everything you need to know. And I'm like, what? Yeah, and then of course you you know the power of of giving and receiving. So you don't you, you know you, you're off you're going to offer something to them in return as well. That's that's the whole magic in in the power of giving and receiving that, that we step into once we understand that it's the same thing, giving and receiving. It is the same act. Depends on what side you're on, but it's the same act over and over again. Yep. It's definitely, and the interesting thing is, for giving and receiving, when I find that right person, I'm not afraid to give, they're not afraid to receive, and they're not afraid to receive, and I'm not afraid to give. And we generally always get along because of that. Because if I, for example, needed help with something in video WordPress, and I said, oh, hey, you know, I'll, I'll do, I can do this, or, you know, you can do this for me, or I don't know how to do this. Can you help me? And they say, oh, well, I only take, I don't know, this as payment, or I only take this service as payment. Can you do this? I say, oh, no. Then it would be kind of difficult because then there's a, there's a block between the giving and receiving. But when I can sit down and say, I have this idea, this is generally the budget I've thought of, and this is what it'll do. What do you think? And then we can have an honest discussion. Generally, nine out of ten people give me a thumbs up, want to work with me. And not only do they want to work with me, they get interested in the bigger picture of what I'm doing. And I'm fairly confident some of the people I'm working with will definitely really integrate them into all what I'm into this community. And once I actually, once we have the community and once we have shops, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot easier to just stack these rooms, to get people to different classes, to get people doing different things. And I do have a lot of hope for this community this year. I really... Well, what I, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I really do because I was just thinking if I could, if I could create something... Why isn't there something that... What do you mean, I, if? What do you mean, if? There's that word, if, again. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> but sometimes I don't know how to do something right away. I just think, man, can I find the right tool? And, and I did find the right tool, and then I showed it to Chris, and he thought it was pretty cool. And then I showed it oh. to the people, and they're like, whoa, where did you find... I even showed it to the guy who said he's an expert at WordPress which is funny because he's supposed to be the expert. I'm supposed to be like maybe intermediate. He's like, this is a great idea. And I'm like, I'm going to get this and we're going to rock this. And well, what I'm really hearing from you out of you right now is that you have learned how to develop a 10 year plan. You have the bigger picture for yourself. You've learned how to do it and you've learned how to, to really connect with the social so the social network of people that can help you reach your goals. That's what I'm hearing. I would even take it a step further and say, 
Not only am I connecting with them, I'm providing the network for them. I know how to do it now. I know what it's going to look like. I know how it's going to feel. I guess you can't taste it unless somebody licks their monitor. And if they do, um, <laughs> please call 911. But aside from taste, hear, see, feel, all of that, I know how that's going to play. I almost know how that's going to play out now. I know exactly how I'm going to almost lay it out. And that's really exciting for me because for a while I was thinking, well, I don't know what to do. Maybe, you know, I'm confused. How, how do I really leverage this to more than just videos? I, I, I want, I do want a community. I do want to expand this, but how, but how? And then it came to me. You can almost say with Nikola Tesla. Stay in Sissick. I got to get going, so I'll talk to you guys later. It was great being on the call today, and I look forward to it next week. All right. I'm going to start trying to come on Saturday as well to the book, back to the book club. We oh, I, have, I haven't been able to be on it because of my schedule for work, so uh, I'd love to get back on that, though. <laughs> All right, man. Well, score some big accounts. Or work on so. Great hearing you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I posted if uh, anybody wants to come um, and listen to us live on radio for 31 Flavors of Worth at 9 o'clock tonight. Um, just go to see my top post and just click to play at 9 o'clock and you are more than welcome to listen to us on radio. Cool. So, Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, um, I guess this was a good topic because there's a lot to explore in that topic, that there whole is. idea. But yeah. I think what most of us really want to get to is that bigger vision, and that bigger vision starts playing out when we see the building blocks that we, we are starting to put into our plans rather than worrying about if we got it done, if it's going to happen. Um, because cause it's not if, it's when. It's just a matter of when. <laughs> I like that, yeah. I. The interesting thing is when it actually plays out, it's more exciting than I actually thought because – the first time I didn't I didn't really have a clear picture. I was just bumping in the walls. And then I started to get a picture of I'm like, no, this isn't exactly what I wanted. And then when I see exactly what I, something I shouldn't even say exactly what I envisioned, better than what I envisioned, then I get super excited. And then I, it, it jump starts me. And then I'm like, I really the vision is reality. Not only is the vision reality, but it's going to be something fun to work on for even, I would say even more than the next 10 years, 10, 20, 30, 40. I don't know. Maybe I can figure out, you know, in this time, someone will come on and figure out how Noah existed for this song. Cause he's an entrepreneur. <laughs> I can keep it going another 800 years. So hopefully. Yeah. All righty. Hey guys. Hey. hey. Can you guys hear me? I, I don't know. If, uh, you know, I I wanted to say my my thoughts on that. Um, I too don't set New Year's resolutions. I set goals for myself. I set small goals, and then they turn into bigger goals. And you know, it's kind of like you finish one one portion of it, then you get you you advance it to. You know, what is it going to be, the bigger picture, you know? I just feel like it, 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 life, is a, life is a journey and, you know, you just got to go with it. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> huh. But, yeah, I mean, if you keep going... Let's just keep going on the journey then. Got some great insights today. Making a list, checking it twice, doing the easiest tasks first, getting a mentor if you need help, 
And it's not so much the resolution. Like everybody's like, I got to set a New Year's resolution and do it. And if I don't, I'm a bad person. <sighs> no, no, you're not. <laughs> it's about that bigger vision of what I want to create in my life and what I want to do and what's fun. And when I find that, I embark on it. And then the little things I can't do, I either outsource it or the right people just suddenly pop in. And I think me and Chris can attest to that. They really pop in. Like, sometimes almost instantly, it's kind of scary. I'm like, whoa, where'd you come from? Yep. All right. With that, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Be safe. Last show of 2016, eh? Yeah. No. Don't drink too much on New Year's Eve. Or or, or if you do, don't call me. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I love the power hour creep. Woo! I'm like, go home. You're drunk. <laughs> but I want to thank Chris Peters, Sharon Cortesana, Marshall Sortino, Fran Richardson, if she is still there, Bill Maybauer, and Dan Sissick for another exciting edition of the Power Hour. How to keep and maintain your New Year's resolutions. You don't really have to, but keep that big vision, and we'll see you all next time. Peace. Audio jungle.